All right, today we're going to take a look at complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that have a sum of 90, and supplementary angles are two angles that have a sum of 180 degrees. Now, these two words are very, very important because we're going to be given information and we're going to have to set up an equation sometimes where we're going to have to add two angles and come up with the right value when we set their sum equal to either 90 or 180. So make sure that you know the difference between complementary and supplementary. Now, two angles are adjacent angles if they share a common vertex inside but have no common interior point. Let's take a look at examples four and five. First, example four. Given angle one and angle two are complementary and the measure of angle one equals 64 degrees, find the measure of angle two. This is going to be a very straightforward equation that we'll write. So we'll write the following equation. The measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 90. Now we set those two equal to 90, their sum is going to be 90 because we're told that the two angles are complementary. Next, we're told that the measure of angle 1 equals 64 degrees, so we're just going to substitute the measure of angle 1 is going to go out and 64 is going to go in its place. So then we'll have the line 64 plus measure of angle 2 equals 90. Then we'll use our subtraction property of equality to determine the value of angle of the measure of angle 2 to be 36 degrees. Go back, reread the question. The question says find the measure of angle 2. Is that what we did? Yes. So all right, we're done. Now, let's take a look at example 5. Number 5, we're told that angles 3 and 4 are supplementary, and angle 3 is the expression 6x plus 72 degrees, and angle 4 is 2x plus 28 degrees. We've got to find the measure of angle 3. Now, the word supplementary means 180 degrees. So that means angles 3 and 4, their sum is going to add up to 180. So if you think you understand how to set this equation up, go ahead and do that by hitting pause and then continue playing the video to see if you set it up correctly. Here's what it would look like. So the first line of our equation is going to be taking the measure of angle 3 plus measure ang angle 4 and setting it equal to 180. Now, 6x plus 72 is going to be substituted in for the measure of angle 3, and 2x plus 28 is going to be substituted in for the measure of angle 4. On our third line, we simply combine like terms to get 8x plus 100 equals 180. Using the subtraction property of, one, of equality, we're going to end up with 8x equals 80, and then the division property of equality gives us x equals 10. So common error right here is for people to be to stop because they think they're finished sadly you are not you must go back and find the measure of angle three so make sure you reread the question to figure out the piece of information you're being required to find here let's find the measure of angle three now the first thing we'll do is write down the expression for measure of angle three six x plus seventy two the second thing we'll do is substitute the value that we got for x, which in this case was 10. So we'll have the expression 6x plus 72. And then when we do the arithmetic, 6 times 10 is 60 plus 72. We end up with a total of 132 degrees for the measure of angle 3. Now, technical writing piece on each one of these questions. Make sure that you have the degree symbol to represent the number of degrees in each one of the angles. Now notice when we wrote when we found the value of 10 for x we did not write a degree symbol on that number. That's because x is only 10 not 10 degrees. A lot of people will make that mistake. Don't you be one of them. 